Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So, in the series of learning C++ programming language, we are discussing 2D arrays, right? In the previous video, we have seen like the addressing in 2D array. How addressing is to be done for the 2D array elements? How the address is to be calculated? Two formulas for row measure and for column measure, right? One with uh, with one example also we have seen that thing. Based on that only we have one coding exercise in this video. We have to do this thing, right? So what is the question? See, an array. This is the array, right? Something like this. A minus 15 to 10 the ranges and column range is 15 to 40. Requires one byte of stories one byte of stories. If the beginning location is this, then determine the location of this element. If you have seen my previous video and if you know the formula, both for row measure and column measure, you have to find out this location, right? So now pause the video and first try this out, right? And please let me know in comment section that you have done it yourself without watching this video, right? Okay, now see. What we have to do first, we don't know the number of columns and number of rows in this array because the range is given. So now if you want to calculate number of rows, then how you will calculate? That is, I am going to represent that by uh, default M, right? So this is what? This is LR, this is UR you can say. Means lower limit for row, row index and this is upper limit for row index. This is LC, lower limit for column index and this is upper limit for column index, right? So if you draw this something, then it would, it would be something like this, minus, minus 14, minus 13, up to 0, then up to 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, like this, right? And here we have columns, column index is 15, 16, up to 40, something like this, right? So index is not from 0, row index and column index, proper limit are given, right? So that would be upper limit that is the ur minus lr plus 1 right so this would be like 10 minus minus 15 plus 1 and it would be 26 same number of columns how you will calculate let's represent this with n uc minus lc plus 1 that would be 40 minus 15 plus 1 and this would be i guess same 26 so we have m and n now you know the formula for row measure what is the formula we have the formula is base address plus i minus lr into number of columns n plus j minus lc this formula we have discussed in previous video how we are going to you know kya bolenge, how you are going to like figure out that this is the formula right this thing properly we have seen in previous video into size so here base address is 1500 plus you just have to put the values i obviously this is i this is j index i for row j for column so 15 minus minus lrs minus 15 right into number of n is what 26 plus j is 20 minus lc is 15 into sizes requires one byte of storage one so if you calculate this thing then you will get 2285 right now still if you are watching this and you haven't done it yourself then next is please pause the video and calculate for column measure this was for row measure representation if this array is represented in memory in column measure ordering then what would be the address of this a 15 to 20 pause the video and try this out so for column measure the formula is base address plus here we will take j minus lc into m plus i minus lr into size just put the values now 1500 plus now j value is 20 minus lower limit of column is 15 into m is 26 plus i is 15 minus lr minus 15 into 1 that's it so it would be 1660 okay I hope you got these two formulas, right? This is very important. You have to, you know, it's not like that you just cram this is the formula. No, you have to understand why this formula, why J minus LC into M plus I minus LR for column measure and all. This thing properly with proper example in detail I have discussed in previous video. Please watch out that video first, right? Because you have to understand. 
it would be then in your mind for longer period of time if you cram if you just remember if you just want to learn like this is the formula okay it's okay you will forget uh, you know this thing very easily after some point of time but if you got it why this formula then it would be in your mind i think forever right so that's it for this video now in the next video we will see vectors in c plus plus and that would be you know nowadays it's like trending concept in you know in languages like stl standard template library especially if you are working in c plus plus and you are you are doing project then definitely obviously you are using vectors and everywhere whenever you go to that in you know, on that lead code when you are going to solve that lead code question in there also by default you will see that class vector something like this they have written they are not going to you know they are not using arrays but why so what is vector why vectors these things we'll be discussing in next video right so now i'll see you in the next video bye bye take care